The finisher's job begins with polishing the body and the keys. Every angle is considered as we bring the detail of the handwork to its final luster. Polishing compound is removed in an ultrasonic cleaner. The keys are dried, oiled, assembled in line, and checked for perfect operation. Gold springs are cut to length. The end is hammered lightly and inserted into the small holes in the post. The spring tension is balanced before seating the pads. To hold the piccolo pads in place, I use a hot melt glue. I insert the piccolo pad, heat the cup over an alcohol lamp, and float the pad into place. I use a very narrow feeler gauge to check and adjust for a great seal. Various shims are placed in the flute key cup, which will allow for adjustments to the pads. At this stage, the keys will be on and off the flute many times as we perfect the seal. This is critical to the performance and stability of the instrument. Testing begins at the workbench. Each finisher is a highly skilled craftsperson and an accomplished flutist. The most important and the largest piece of cork on the modern flute is the one that goes on the back, what is called the spatula, and this has to be hand carved. The instrument then goes to pre-testing. I have checked each key for end and lateral play. Then I check key tension and play test the instrument throughout its entire range. Corrections are noted. When this flute is perfect, it's on to Lillian. Every head joint, flute, and piccolo passes through my hands for final testing. The protective tape is removed and the flute is done.